Hey guys, my name is John Park and welcome to another Foundation Patreon video tutorial. For today's demonstration, we're going to continue with the black and white thumbnail sketches um, that we did in the previous term and basically build on top of that. I would highly recommend just doing a little quick uh, study of, of this and you can even do so on just as, as, a, as a quick little thumbnail. Um, and sometimes if I'm a little too concerned about kind of the direction of light, sometimes I'll just do these little comps here, even smaller, just to make sure that my general lighting direction is, was, is or was a good choice. So I'll even do a smaller comp, and these should only take literally just no more than a few a few minutes to complete. So if I were to do a side lighting, maybe we can have something graphically that's going to read something like this. Ready, set, go. Let me just imagine uh, the architecture being lit in this fashion door here and all that stuff and the shadow so that's not too bad right as a little quick comp and it communicates the idea um, in a just a, s a short amount of like couple strokes and just a couple indication of like just some key areas right again this is um, you know a lot of this kind of prep work is very important to do um, for doing a larger scene and that's kind of that's kind of what I want to build up to you know is I definitely want to have a really good sense of what kind of design or scenery that we're gonna build up to so that when we do the final shot you know it's, it's kind of nice and nice and clear so from here I'm gonna just try to mimic this and try to plot in this architectural structure. Now there's a lot of detail that we can imply. So I'm probably gonna just start getting in the bulk of the uh, the details in. But more importantly, I wanna make sure that the placement is good. And then I'm thinking this type of architecture, this is kind of Angkor Wat inspired. Um, I'm going to have kind of these larger crown details on this wall here. So I want to make sure I can have some sort of distinct design shape. Same thing here, if I have some sort of extra little bit of structure sticking out here, I want to be able to just kind of draw that out. So the thing about these doing these bigger format drawings is that you're going to have a lot more detail, clearly, right? And then we have kind of the brickwork. And maybe just some some detail here. Okay, so let's get started with this thing. Alright, so using pencil here, I want to make sure that I can actually kind of get ready to render. So using 
using our pencil here, I want to try to block the lighting in, okay? So what I'm going to do is start off with the left side, kind of block in all this. And the great thing about this is that we can just kind of block in and just tone it, tone the image. And notice how I'm toning the image, it's not completely black. It's about like a nice 50% gray. Okay, because again, I just want to get the, the basic idea of where light is hitting these objects. Anything that's darker or in these crevices, we'll do afterwards. But we want to make sure we kind of block in the basic, the basic tone. That's it, just graphically. Keep it simple, keep it easy. And notice I'm kind of going off the off the the borders, which is fine. Because again, we're gonna clean it up and, and kind of refine this thing as, as we go. And again, I want to simplify the graphic read, so even though I'm going darker, I want to make sure I kind of consolidate all this stuff into an even, somewhat of an even and consistent shadow tone. So that way the values don't just kind of jump around, you know, that's that's one thing that kind of messes up a lot of um, a lot of images is when, you know, there's like within within the value itself, there's a lot of different value ranges and you don't want that. So we started off with doing a series of quick thumbnails and we chose one direction and we did a little quick comp and with that we did a more finalized drawing. And there you have it. Um, thank you again for for watching this tutorial. Uh, please email email us if you have any questions. And thanks for watching.